We're a general contractor and we work across the United States, but we're Maryland based, been in Bethesda for almost 40 years. We have grown from a small company in 1906, started by Mr. George Hyman, uh, he was a small excavator and became a general contractor and survived the depression. Jim Clark joined him as a young engineer out of University of Maryland in 1950. I asked for a job and came to see Mr. Rome, who was Mr. Hyman's nephew, and the, really the man who ran the company. They needed a field engineer and they would pay me $60 a week. So I took the job and that's how I started with the company and uh, Jim took over the ownership of the company and began to build the company and uh, build it not only in the Washington area but across the country. And it's a great success story. Our reputation was pretty tightly knit in Washington, D.C., and everybody knew the company because even though we didn't do much work, we had a good reputation. And as we grew, it became a larger company but with the exactly same culture that we had when we were small. We do about four billion dollars worth of uh, work a year. As to the type of work we do, it can vary from uh, a renovation of a metro station or a supportive excavation in a uh, building in downtown to uh, some of the biggest projects in the country. Our policy has been always, if you make your money in a community, whether it's we're working in California or we're working in Florida, wherever we work, if we're successful and we, that, and we make our money in that community, we try to make our charitable contributions in that community. It's something that we do because we think it's right. Um, we do it because um, there's so much need out there. The opportunity to give um, and give back to the community comes from Jim Clark. And he, in turn, would say that he got that from Ben Rome. Ben was, taught me a lot about charity. He believed in giving and really had no personal ambition for money himself at all. I would describe our, our community service and corporate philanthropy as a core value. We think about uh, community service and corporate philanthropy really in, in two ways, both, both dollar and deed. And I would say that the deed is every bit as important as the dollars. While I was at the Perry School Community Center at a luncheon, I got seated next to Young America Works. And I'd like to think that it might be coincidental, but I was asked then to get involved with um, having those high school students uh, get a taste of what it's like to be in the construction industry. Young America Works is an academic and vocational uh, charter high school. Um, and what we do is provide students with various opportunities. The difference with the classroom instruction and going out in the field, we can tell them all about what happens on a construction job, but for them to go out on a job and actually see the people doing it, it makes it more interesting. We're permitted to take the time out of our work day to give the tours, go do the lectures, and the kids really open up, and I feel that we're making a good impact in the community by giving these students a path or a goal by which they can achieve different things in their lives. I want to thank them for um, personally coming and teaching us about things that happen on the construction site and letting us come out and see it, because it definitely influences us. They've taken a lot of great information away uh, from uh, what they've learned and different things that they've seen. It's been phenomenal. We've grown a lot. I think our corporate philanthropy program has grown as well, both in terms of the volume that we give back and I think too in terms of the commitment. The young folks that are new to the company also bring a lot of energy, a lot of interest in uh, public service, and they provide a lot of uh, support for the types of projects that we're doing. My favorite Clark philanthropic initiative would be Rebuilding Together. I've been involved with the organization for almost 25 years, and Clark's been involved that entire time. We serve the lowest income homeowners in town, people who have owned their homes for a long period of time but can not afford to maintain them. I've been involved with Rebuild Together probably uh, five years. This is my first year on the board, and it's because of Clark that I got involved. We're now in nearly 250 cities around the country. Clark helps out in many of those cities. One of the things that we like to do is we like to get everybody involved. When we are building a building, we like to be a team. And when we work in the community, we like to do the same thing. We have subcontractors in this area that you can pick up the phone and go, hey, I need a roof on this house. This lady is 85 years old. Her roof has been leaking for the last 10 years, and she needs some help. They're right there. It's just a lot of fun to be able to get with uh, your coworkers outside of work and, you know, really come together and make some 
some magic, if you will. Clark Construction and rebuilding together are just a, a synergy that works well together. When you go into people's neighborhoods and you're working in people's neighborhoods, uh, it's a good thing that they see that you're not just there to tear up everything when you're building, you're there to make the community better. Mostly it's about being a good citizen. It's not about how much we can do or whether we get any particular accolades or awards for it. It's, uh, it's just really doing the right thing. I think probably, uh, I met Jim Rouse, who was a great philanthropist himself, and I met Jim probably, uh, I don't know, 40 years ago, 35 years ago, when he was active in his business, and he introduced me to a, a, a group that was called Jubilee Housing, and from that was an offshoot called Samaritan Inns. The Samaritan Inns has a comprehensive residential addiction recovery program for homeless men and women in Washington. We provide uh, hope for individuals who are struggling with those addictions. I got very involved and have been involved for the last 30, 25 years in Samaritan Inns, which is bringing street people in, get them detoxed, getting them into a community of, of people in their same condition, getting them jobs, and then getting them back on the street. My own personal relationship with the uh, Clark community came literally the first week I was on the job as the executive director. I was introduced to, to Mr. Clark, and what I remember about that meeting and the conversation I had with him was that he was very encouraging. And he told me that this is the right thing to do, uh, it's something that we believe in, and we're, we're here to help you. Uh, so Others Might Eat was started 40 years ago to serve hungry and homeless people in Washington, D.C. And part of this mission is to help people get back um, on their feet, earn a living wage, give them a, a way to afford a house, and get back into society. So that's our mission is to not only serve hungry people food, but also to uh, nourish the spirit, restoring hope and dignity to people on the streets. A lot of people have uh, addiction problems, get the medical and dental treatment, give them housing at an affordable rate. We wouldn't be able to do the work we're doing without corporations. Clark Construction is, is really a top example of uh, what can be done with a corporation that really cares. There are those that are less fortunate than others, and helping them, helping them return to a productive member of society, and knowing that in some small way I gave of my time or my talent to help that um, is what I get out of it. It's a feeling that I have given back. A lot of the money that we give to charitable, for charitable contributions is to, for education. Our relationship with Clark Construction started in 2007. Ray Ritchie, who is a, a great friend of our company's, he is on the board for the said center. Uh, he really felt passionate about the needs of this group and uh, wanted to help them. Its mission is to provide services uh, to low-income families, mostly of uh, Hispanic immigrants. We donated money for the operations and also for the construction and renovation of the new facility. We also provided all of the management services. Dennis called me up one day and said, hey, I've got a really interesting, unique opportunity for you, and it's a rehabilitation and renovation of a building for a school. As soon as I got involved, I knew it was going to be an opportunity that would never come around again. That's a very good example of the type of charity that we should be involved in, because our Hispanic workers, they're very hard workers, but they didn't have any way to take care of their children and educate their children, especially before they go to grade school. It was really great to be here through the entire project, right up until the grand opening ceremony where you were able to see the joy on the faces of the workers here. You could see that in the faces of the participants, the volunteers, the families, and you could see that they were so happy and thankful to have this new facility. And it's uh, something we've been involved in, which I think was one of the better things we've ever done. Our most successful philanthropic efforts are when our client is interested in doing something, the community in which the project is is interested in doing something, our employees are passionate about doing something, and then we as a corporation support whatever the team decides to do. When we have all those things in place, that's when it's just a home run, and that's when I think it's most rewarding for everyone. It's a kind of a hollow thought if I'm encouraging people to give back, and it's not something that I'm trying to do on my own personally. So I think I have to, and others have to lead by example. You have to be about something more than just your work. Starting with Jim Clark down, uh, the expe expectation is created that we derive a lot of our uh, wealth and well-being from the communities we work in. 
there is a sense of obligation that to those that much is given, that much is expected, that when uh, we take out of the community that we should get back to the community. I was raised where if, if you made money, I mean, even as a kid, if you just worked Saturdays, you gave a certain amount of it away. That teaches you and that that's the way to do, that you should share success.